Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a pink eye look using the Revolution Forever Dynamic Eternal Palette. And this is one of my favorite palettes to use because it's perfect for on the go. You just throw this in your handbag and if you need to, you can touch up that eye look. In case you are nosing my hair, I did go to the hair salon today, finally. And I got a little haircut and some highlights. And yes, I am finally blonde once again. So I'm going to go ahead and off camera grab the themes I need and I will be right back. Okay, so I had to grab my Wet n Wild Mega Blast Eyeshadow Primer. Just going to do a little bit. I do need to try to get my hair off my face, so I do have a clip that I'm going to see if it will work. And I always say that and it always ends up working, but because I did just get my hair done today, I'm not so sure that it will work, but we will try. Let me grab my hair clip and see if I can get it in my hair. One moment. All right, got the hair clip in. It might look a little weird, but it will have to do for now. So what I want to do, and I've shared this palette with you all probably a half a dozen times, if not more. That's what she looks like. So I think what I want to do, I'm not going to be touching any glitter today because that's going to make it very messy. At least I'm not sure. I might. But I think the first color I really want to go into, and I'm just going to just double check that's what I want to use. That's a really pretty color. I think I kind of want to go in. I'm going to go into this one right here. I did, I used to have a little slip that went into this that had all the names. I will have to look for that later on and I'll tell you the names of the palettes, the shades I'm using to let you know. So if you're curious to know about that, be sure to check out my description down below and I will have that hopefully down there. So I've already kind of went and primed my eyes. I'm just going to use a sponge a little bit to make sure it's all kind of absorbed onto my eyes here. All right, let me grab my brush, which I had here a moment ago. Let me see if I can feel for it. All right, I have my two brushes. So the first brush I am going to be using is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And I know it's not the correct brush to be using for this, but it's what we're going to use for today. I do need to wash my brushes again. So I just went into this color right here, and I'm just going to tap off the excess. And we're just going to put it on the lower lid. I'm just going to grab some more. Not gonna do anything crazy today. I just wanna do a nice little pinky look. Kinda keep it nice and pink and yet simple. Let's grab some of that. Now go ahead and put some on the other eye. You might reach into one of the other colors in this palette to kinda try to I don't know, deepen the color up. Look, make it look a little more colorful. Let me see. I'm gonna try to get more into that shade right there. Just do this. Give me one moment. I'm just gonna see what other color I want to use for this look. What I'm gonna do is use a different brush. I don't know the name of this brush because this brush here is really old and the name, the writing on it has completely worn off. So my apologies for that. I do feel like if we use a little bit of a smaller brush, it might help to get a little bit more pigmentation of this particular shade. It is really, really pretty. I do apologize for the lighting. The lighting is kind of bad. It is, uh, getting dark out right now and so I do normally use well normally I always use natural lighting I don't really ever film this late but we're doing it so what I want to do now is I do want to go in with this 
shade right here. We're just going to go for it. And I'm going to swatch the two shades. I don't know if you can see those. I'll take better swatches. But that's what I'm going in with. I'm just going to go on top here. Just gonna look in the mirror real quickly. All right, let's do a little bit more of this shade right here on the other eye. Let's get to pick up some of that shade. It's more of a deeper pink look, and I'm okay with that. Gonna get a little bit more. This is how it's looking so far. And I kind of want to use some black shadow for a liner, which I would have to dip into the Elf, the new classics, or to the Morphe palette. I see my hair is coming undone. The little clip, that's okay though. And let me see. I also want to use another brush, just put a little shimmer in the corner of my eye. So let's use, I'm going to use this little pencil brush. Is the Lux 217. And for the corner of my eye here, we are going to go in with this shade here, which is really, really, it's this really stunning shade. I don't know if it's going to swatch well on my hand, but it's that one right there. It's kind of shimmery. So that's what we're going to put in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm not using any lashes. I have yet to throw out those lashes. I need to probably throw them out because I'm a little nervous to use them because of the lash glue. I don't know if you all may have seen the photos of my eyelids. The last time I used the lashes, the lash glue caused my eyelids to get very inflamed and red. It was quite terrifying. I'm not sure why because why it happened because the lash glue is not that old the lashes are not that old so I'm really not sure what happened give me one moment I do want to do a little black eyeliner to go with this look and I'm gonna go grab the elf the new classics palette I did some black eyeliner with this eye look what I'm going to do now quickly is offline do the rest of my makeup now I'll be back with the final look see you in a moment so here is the final look. I really love it. Here are the eyes. The rest of my face. I really, I mean, this is one of my, I, I have quite a few palettes that I do consider to be part of my Holy Grail collection, and this is definitely one of them. If you're curious to know all the other products I use in today's pink eye look, be sure to check out my description. I'll have everything I use linked there. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely consider smashing that subscribe button. It really helps to support my YouTube channel and, of course, be part of the fam. And also, be sure to turn on that notification bell, especially if you're into everything beauty. And if you're in your late 30s, 40s, 50s, and older, you're going to want to stick around. I'm 51, and I'm all about sharing with all of you women in those age groups that you can do whatever makeup look I look you want to do. Don't be nervous. Go over that, that fine line. Be brave. Not all looks are going to work out, and that's okay. You'll see if you watch some of my videos, you'll see that I've had a few looks that were like epic fails. And that's okay. That's how you learn. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. Great Friday. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.